when I was playing as a club team, I loved, I loved just traveling with them and just having parties with them and having pre-game pasta parties and things like that. I just loved, loved feeling as part of a team. It's great. I'll bring some tissues. Couple of things. <laughs> Listen. Couple of things to remember. Um, for those girls who are trying out, um, they've been. They need to play the position that they're comfortable with, so if they play the position you play, then you get to play somewhere else today. All right, uh, what we need you to do is we need you to get in groups of four, so loosen up. What's your name? Kelly. Kelly. What's yours? I'm Lauren. Nice to meet you. Kelly. Kelly's out here. We're in this grid right here. Okay. Christy, you're on the well, east side in this yeah. grid. Okay. Um, oh. Every year when girls come out to try out for the soccer team, Kelly? they're always um, really positive and friendly, and they always work really hard. Obviously, they have something to prove, so that's good. But um, I'd say their work rate is oh they God. they really are trying to work really hard to show what they can do, so they can try to make the team. What? There! I got it! I got it! We're not looking necessarily for someone who we think could develop, but at the same time, we we have an opportunity to recruit and bring some new freshmen in. We have five new players coming in next year. So at these tryouts, we're really looking for someone who could maybe have an immediate impact on our team is, is, is kind of where our needs are. Yeah, up here, up here. This way. It's hard coming in with a whole bunch of people that you don't know, but yet they're still going out there and trying to be assertive and demand the ball. And that takes kind of some confidence to be able to do that. It's not easy to play with a bunch of people that you don't know. Playing against those guys first will be Merck, Megan, Hallie, Jenny, Aaron, Kelly, and Baz. Okay. Line, line, line. Wide, wide, wide. So they go in now. Oh, lots of times I think since it is a team sport, I feel like like if I let my team down, it's my responsibility to get the ball back or to make up for my mistake, just to play ten times harder than I was before because if I let myself down, then I let my team down and that just, you don't want to let other people down, so that's what keeps lots of the drive going. Well, I think one of the biggest things as I'm playing with them is that um, I pay attention to kind of the movement off the ball, and that's one of the things when you're actually on the field playing with them, it's a lot easier to communicate where they should be and kind of be able to tell them right then where they should be. Whereas when you're on the sideline as a coach, it's a lot harder when they're on the opposite side of the field. By the time you can get to them and they can hear it, the play's kind of already passed. Awesome. Yeah, Merck, Merck. Oh, they have me feet. I feel like they don't like Marcus as much because they're not. Uh, next week we got a lot of work to do. We play Saturday, so a week away from playing. Um, uh, thanks for those of you who can try out. Um, those of us on the older team, I know she's just talking about it, but we have some work to do. We're, we're a good team. Okay. We'll have a cheer and then we'll talk to all the girls uh, trying out in just a minute. Okay. Good job, guys. Champions on three. One, two, three. Champions!